Hi, this is Sachleen Singh, Technical Evangelist at Autodesk, and we're back with our next tip and trick, how to create contact sets and motion links in Fusion 360. The example we're going to use today is this grinder vise, and I have two visible joints on it. The first one is the slider joint that drives the sliding jaw of the vise, and the second joint is the revolute joint that rotates the handle. And I want to be able to connect both of these joints in a way that when the handle is rotated, the sliding jaw moves forward and back. So one of the first things I want to do is I want to define limits on that sliding joint. I can either go in to the joint itself and edit it to define limits, but in this case I'm going to use the existing geometry and define a contact set between the two jaw plates. Once I've done that, you can see that when I move the sliding jaw back and forth, it stops when the two jaw plates actually touch each other. Now I want to make extra sure that there is no limits driving this joint and it is in fact the contact set that limits the motion of the sliding jaw. The next thing I want to do is I want to be able to rotate the handle and have the sliding jaw move back and forth like it is supposed to in a vise. To do this, we're going to create a motion link between the slider joint and the revolute joint. And that's really easy to do right to the assemble drop down. Let's revert and continue to go back to the original position of this vise and the slider jaw. Specify the two joints that you want to connect with a motion link, and you'll quickly see that animation shows me when the handle rotates, the jaw is moving forward and back, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK there and test that motion out for myself. That looks really neat. It's a really simple way to define how your assembly is actually going to function. I can go back and edit that motion link if I want to change the ratio that the ratio of the distance that the jaw moves per rotation of the handle. So I have quite a bit of leverage there to be able to make this look more realistic and be able to determine exactly how much the jaw moves per rotation of the handle. I can reverse that motion as well, and when I'm happy with the ratios, I can go ahead and hit OK. And there you have it, motion links and contact sets in Fusion 360. Thanks for watching.